We feel that this bill is very well supported. We've done a lot of research on the uh, use of animals in uh, travelling circumstances and we're supporting this bill with scientific white papers as well as the empirical evidence uh, where people have worked undercover alongside the circuses and filmed and photographed what they saw. Um, our objective here is, has been to show what it's really like for circus animals behind, behind the scenes. And we know that when the American public see how these animals live, when they're not in the show, when they're not in the ring, they won't want to see an animal circus. What they'll prefer to see is a human-only circus. I think the, the real issue here um, in the United States is the, the level of stress and confinement that these large and exotic animals experience when they're kept on the back of a truck or a trailer. In a static facility like a, a zoo or somewhere else, it is in theory, uh, as uh, of course in sanctuaries like, like Paws, it is in theory possible to set standards and create an environment for those animals where they can live in captivity with some semblance of, of dignity and enjoyment of their environment. Mm -hmm. That is simply not possible if you're keeping those animals on the back of a truck or in a trailer. This is the kind of evidence that we'll be putting forward to uh, Congress, but not only this, um, we've actually looked at the economics of animal circuses, and uh, the, the human-only circuses are actually charging um, higher entrance fees. The human-only circuses are very, very popular, and I think when people find out what happens to the animals behind the scenes, they'll support the human-only circus. The fact is, looking at uh, USDA figures, the American taxpayer is already paying about 87% of the costs of inspections of circuses. And these are inspections where USDA inspectors find that they cannot uh, process the information that they've gathered, gathered in an inspection in time to deal with any issues that they find before that circus moves out of their, their uh, jurisdiction. And that's your real problem here. If you have an inspection system, um, then the, ch and the circuses are always constantly traveling, then it's very, very hard to identify abuses, identify suffering, and then actually take action to do something about it. In summary, what we're talking about is that the use of animal, these animals in traveling circuses causes an unacceptable level of suffering. The lightweight facilities that the animals are kept in, the uh, stress that they're put under when they're being forced to do things that they don't want to do, make these animals dangerous when they're in close proximity to the public. But if you've got, if you've got a large um, and potentially dangerous animals and you put it under that level of str stress, you beat it, you jab it with an elephant hook, you zap it with a stun gun, then you are creating a creature that will one day bolt and that's usually in a place where it's in an open place or in a tent or somewhere where the public can't be protected. So for the sake of the animals and for the sake of the public we need to end the use of these animals in travelling circuses.